what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be about everything that i actually use in my hospital bag now basically how i'm going to be going through this video i wrote everything down uh that i actually brought to the hospital i did film a what's in my hospital bag video if you haven't seen that i will put it up in the cards above i think it's right over here i'm not really sure <laughs> but uh i did write it down in the order that i displayed it the disrespect yeah but i did write it down in the order that i was showing them in that video so if you're interested in seeing the exact items just go click on that video but yeah that's how i'm gonna be doing it and i thought it was important that um i talk about the items that i didn't use and why i probably didn't use them so if you are interested in seeing what i actually used and why keep on watching now the first thing i actually showed in that video and i actually did use obviously because there's no way around it is the hospital bag i honestly do love the hospital bag that i ended up choosing which was a duffel bag that i got from walmart it was like 15 bucks or whatever worth every penny because it had wheels on it thought it was going to be very convenient to travel with and it really was it was not a hassle at all to get everything in there and then kind of roll it up i like what i chose the next thing i did bring but i did not absolutely use and it wasn't necessary at all that was uh sanitizer why was i bringing sanitizer to the hospital now i know i said in that video it was because i didn't see sanitizer and people touching my baby but honestly everyone first of all who was coming in they were just washing their hands like now that sanitizer does come in handy now because it's so big people naturally sanitize their hand as they're coming in my house i keep it on the foyer table so when they're usually enter my house they just kind of naturally plump and then um touch the baby but yeah i did not absolutely use that and it wasn't really that necessary the next thing i did bring was a uh, chapstick and I did use it and I do think it's necessary, but for my case, I didn't care. <laughs> I ain't gonna say don't use it, but for me, honestly, I did not care. I used it probably midway through, and I only used it one time. Uh, maybe because my people weren't shit, and they weren't keeping me hydrated in that area. And maybe because it was all the icicles I was eating. Because I'm a bit person, I lick my lips a lot. And when I lick my lips, it's not like a LF. LL Cool J situation to where the lips get all juicy and plump. No, they get dry. The next thing that I brought to the hospital was my infamous Hatch Baby Rest. And I absolutely love this. If you watch any of my videos, I talk about this a lot. I do love this and I did use this the entire time I was there. I was in the hospital for four days and every bit of those days this is playing yes i thought this helped out a lot in setting the mood more so not even for me to be honest because i didn't even really notice it that much but i felt like it set a tone for other people coming into the room the next thing i ended up bringing to the hospital was my big ass mirror <laughs> um yeah i did use this and if you follow me on instagram i did do my makeup while in full-blown labor and it wasn't really a uh, daunting and it fits in everything yeah i did bring it it came in handy i'm glad i did the next thing i end up bringing was the thank you cards and <laughs> hell nah I did not use them. There was no thanks going to that hospital. If you haven't watched my um, labor video, I did not have a good experience at all. And it was terrible. They could get their life. Like, no, hell no, they didn't deserve that letter or the note. So I didn't use it. I didn't take it out of my bag, nothing. I was chucking up the deuces and out of there. The next thing that I ended up bringing, well, I said I was gonna be bringing and did not bring, so therefore I did not use it, was the letter board. I would have used it if I had it, but my husband didn't pack it. So what I ended up doing was, after I filmed the hospital bat video, I kept everything on the table. Unfortunately, my husband didn't grab it. When I went through my bag or whatever, 
it wasn't there. So unfortunately, I didn't get that letter board picture with my baby in the hospital, but I honestly would have used it if I had it, but unfortunately, I didn't. So the next thing that I ended up bringing to the hospital was actually Dermaplast. And no, I did not use this in the slightest. Now, it wasn't even necessary for me to even bring this to the hospital because the tour guide lied to me and they actually did give me Dermaplast. Now, this one is slightly different from the one that you buy in the store. Um, the only difference is this one just says moisturizes its and soothes and refreshes the one that they give you and the one that you buy in the store says burn an inch but i didn't use any of these like i used it one time to be honest but i think i used it once i got home not in there because what they ended up giving me also was these cream moisten witch hazel pads and this is what they look like there's like these little pads and they're moist or whatever and you're supposed to like wipe your stuff and uh, they tell you in the hospital to leave it in the mesh panties that they give you. Matter of fact, let me show you what the mesh panties look like. These are the mesh hospital panties um, that they actually give you in the hospital. I remember watching a lot of what's in my hospital bag video and they talk a lot about these mesh panties and can you believe these are panties? <laughs> look at these. These are terrible to me. People go praise these things. But they tell you to put the witch hazel pads in these and it just has that little hole right there and let it sit in there. And I'm like, I'm supposed to put a big pad in this giant thing. So honestly, granted my stitches situation wasn't as bad as some people's. But I just can't imagine. Like, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do the pad thing in my drawers and these little thin mesh panties or whatever. Like, sunlight goes through them and everything. It just was a no. But overall, I did not use this at all. It was more of a headache than a help for me. So, no, I didn't use it. The next thing that I ended up bringing to the hospital was my phone charger and extension cord and all that kind of cord situation. And yes, I did absolutely use everything in that case because I needed to charge my phone. I needed to keep myself occupied. Granted, I didn't use my phone a lot during labor, but my phone was charged. And mainly I needed it for my hatch baby rest because this was going on the whole time and I needed this close to me. So, yeah, and I had to charge my other, like, my film equipment and all that stuff. So, yeah, I absolutely did use my chargers and my extension cord. The next thing that I brought to the hospital was my trusty plush blanket. I absolutely, 100% recommend you bring a blanket that you love. If you were to forget anything, don't forget this. This is very important to feel comfortable because otherwise I would have been very cold, very feeling exposed out there, everything like that. I had this laying on top of their hospital covers, but I was under their covers because you know you bleed in and all kind of stuff going on down there. So I had this over the their stuff, but I definitely love that I had this. Next to that is a pillow and that's another thing that I highly recommend. Bring you a pillow. My pillow was my ride or die. Trust me, you need a pillow and you need your plus blanket. If you don't take anything else, do not forget those two. The next thing that I ended up showing in that video was that I brought some snacks and yes, they were eaten, but they were eaten by my guests. And honestly, I never even seen them eating it. <laughs> I thought all the snacks was there about the time I was in the recovery room, and no, they weren't there. They were eating it the entire labor process, and I see none of it. The next thing that I ended up bringing to the hospital, which was mostly clothing items, which was my nursing tank top, which came in portrait when I was more so ready to go home and 100% my robe, which was this green robe like this. I 
love the robe and I pretty much wore the robe the entire time of recovery. I was only in the robe and diapers. Like that was it. As well as my labor um, and delivery outfit. Now, you probably surprised that I actually have this still because I went through labor and this and had the baby and all that, and yes. But honestly, I have no blood, no idols, and none of that stuff on my dress at all. I was able to just wash it and it came out. I just don't think it's cool to be wasteful. Like, if it was destroyed, I would absolutely like threw it away but I was able to clean it and I would be able to use this for my next baby. So this will probably be my little staple or whatever, but these things aren't cheap to just be throwing away like other people. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't got the coin to be just throwing away stuff just because I want to just be cute for the moment and just toss it. So no, when I have my next baby, I will be in this. And sometimes, honestly, I haven't done it yet, but I thought about it plenty of times to just wear this as a nightgown. Like, why would I throw this away? But I obviously did wear this as well. The next thing that I ended up bringing to the hospital was a little portable fan. And technically, yes, I did use this fan. It was a point in time where I was starting to get really hot. But it wasn't to the point to where I felt like I needed a fan. I just used it because it was there. They were trying to put um, rags on me to cool me down and I was like, oh no, you ain't gonna mess up this makeup after I started putting this makeup on my face. So you take this little fan and you cool me down that way because they was not about to be laying rags. They was on their way. I was in that room, but y'all get what I'm saying. The next thing that I ended up bringing was flip flop. And this part, I actually want to lie and say yes that I did use it, but no, I honestly didn't. I actually misplaced them, which was for a shower, and I'm actually kind of embarrassed that I'm telling the truth on this part, but no, I didn't use them. I just laid a towel down and just took a shower normally, like... It's not my towel, so I'm not gonna be drying them. But I wasn't taking a long shower anyway because I was trying to get back to my baby, so I did like a quick little, I guess, whole bath, and then I was on my way. The next thing that I ended up bringing was my bathing suit, and the point of me bringing a bathing suit was for when my doula would be comforting me, she was gonna be the one like was holding the shower head to keep me warm while I just kind of focus on my contractions and stuff like that. But the thing was, I did end up having an epidural technically and wasn't allowed to take a shower, so there was no need to put on the swimsuit. The next thing that I brought to the hospital and I love 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 that i have these specific ones and that was the non-slip socks that i chose and those socks was amazing and yes i wore them pretty much the entire time that was there during labor after labor i wasn't able to wear them because i got blood on them so yeah but i washed them they got clean and I love those socks. Uh, the next thing I ended up bringing was makeup wipes. And no, I did not use the makeup wipe because I ain't had time to be trying to wipe my face. I just went to the sink and washed my face. So I don't really think it was necessary. The next thing that I ended up bringing was my heating pad. And that heating pad was pretty clutch to be honest. Like it came through during the labor process as well as the recovery more so during the recovery but that thing was pretty clutch and i was felt genius for actually bringing that the next thing that i said that i was going to be bringing to the hospital but absolutely did not bring because david forgot it which was my boppy pillow and i was absolutely upset that he did not bring it and I absolutely wish I had it because it would have came through clutch when it comes to breastfeeding. Breastfeeding in the beginning was terrible. It was hard. People say that you don't need to bring the boppy pillow because you can just make shift a boppy with all these pillows. And to this day, I still think it's more comfortable to breastfeed with a boppy pillow than it is to make shift pillow. And I think that's how I end up messing up my wrist to this day because of makeshifting or not using the proper position when it comes to uh, breastfeeding. So if I would have had it, I would have absolutely a thousand percent 
use a bobby pillow the last thing that i'm going to be saying that i ended up bringing to the hospital and yes i did use this and it was my diaper bag i do have the itsy bitsy diaper bag if you watch my videos you probably see it all the time at this point and i do love that diaper bag it had all her clothes her blankets and everything like that inside and yes i pretty much chose the outfits that i want but i absolutely use the diaper bag do i think it was necessary no i don't think it was necessary say for me to bring the diaper bag to be honest because I probably could have just put the outfit that I wanted her to use in my duffel bag really that's all you need is really the outfits in my opinion because uh diapers white they all provide that so it was totally un unnecessary um but i did use it so yeah i guess this is the end of the video um i honestly think i did pretty good but i guess i did do a little bit of overpacking because out of everything that i brought technically what 29 items i only used 14 of them so i used basically half of what i brought so I guess I did do a little bit of overpacking, but to be honest, in the next case, if I did have another hospital birth, I probably still would bring this, all this stuff the second time outside of like the diapers and the wipes because each labor is different, you know, and some of the things that work the first time may not work the second time. So yeah, this is going to be it. So if you haven't already, just make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Uh,